All right, what's going on, guys? I am bringing you, I guess, something a little bit different, but not too much um, today. I wanted, I've been wanting to try to talk about like real, real life shit as opposed to like strictly Call of Duty stuff. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but I figured I might, I might finally just try it, see how it goes, see if you guys enjoy it or not, and uh, I'll start doing that more and more. Like, I want to start making my videos more about entertainment and less about just like being good at Call of Duty. Cause I feel like that's kind of, it's getting stale on YouTube, people don't really give a fuck anymore. And, uh, you know, I gotta keep up with the times, man. I, I gotta, I gotta progress and, you know, evolve, I guess. So, I'm gonna try this today, and you guys let me know if you want more real life shit or not. And, uh, you know, I'll figure it out, cause, you know, I've, I've been uploading a little bit different type of content for the last, like, couple weeks. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna continue that trend, I guess. But anyways, today, I got this news story, it, like... It became popular like very recently, like just like today, uh, you know, it started getting like picked up on the news or whatever. And I saw it on Twitter at first, and I didn't really think much of it, but then I saw it on the news, and I had to like look into it because this shit really caught my attention. I was I was just mind blown to be honest. So the rundown of it is basically, there's a guy, he's a 23 year old British guy named Jordan Park, and he spent over $150,000 to basically make it try, I'll say try actually, attempt to make himself look like Kim Kardashian. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take a quote from the article. Uh, I'll link all this shit in the description if you wanna go look. I'm, I'll put up some pics of this guy periodically through the video, cause he posts a lot of pics on his Instagram. There's, there's a lot to choose from. Uh, but basically this, this is his reasoning of, of the whole thing. So, he says, I love everything about Kim. She's the most gorgeous woman ever. Her skin is perfect, her hair, everything about her. I laugh when people try to insult me by telling me I look plastic or fake. Do they think I'm going for the natural look? If I was, I'd ask for my money back. Well, first of all, you need to get your money back. Because you don't look like Kim Kardashian. Honestly, he looks more like Amber Rose, but well, like a really fucked up Amber Rose. Like if Amber Rose's mom was like smoking crack during her pregnancy... And, you know, this will be the result. But I'm more curious to know what what he does for a living. Because he's, he's only 23 years old. That's a couple years older than me. So I'm not going to be making 150k in, in two years. Most likely not. Unless, I mean, it'd be very rare. So I want to know what this dude... And also, like, there's something wrong with his head, obviously. Like, he's psychologically, like, not all there. So what does this fucking stupid-ass dude do where he has an extra 150k to just spend on... on this on, on some fucking medical procedures to look like a freak I w I'm really like actually pretty curious to know what he does cuz I need like sign me up for that shit cuz I, I want to have 150k to just waste what the hell like this dude just must be cashing the fuck out to have this sort of money but overall like this guy's just such a freak like I was thinking about like maybe like some of the repercussions that, w that would come through with this because he he literally is scary looking to in to be honest like this is like I, I, I feel like eventually when more people hear about this like there's gonna be like posters of this guy near schools and they're gonna be like don't let within 100 yards of the school like like i honestly feel like if a small child saw this guy like walking up to them they would honestly be afraid it, it would honestly probably scar them like well actually i mean i'm a grown-ass fucking man and if i saw this dude i don't even should i even call him dude i'm gonna call him a dude if I saw this dude walk up to me in real life, like, I'd be scared. I'm I'm grown, and I'd be scared of this fuck. Like, he literally looks scared. He looks like he's wearing a mask. Like, I'd be fucking scared of this guy. Like, if this fool was trying to, like, rob me, like, he comes up to me and asks me for my wallet or some shit. Shit, I'm giving him my wallet. I'm giving him my keys. I'm giving him the fucking, my shirt, my fucking pants. I'll give him my fucking shoes. This dude can have whatever he wants. And I'm getting the fuck out of there. This dude, he looks like he's on some serial killer type shit. He looks like the type of motherfucker who, like, you know, he'll, he'll give you, like, that injection, you know, like Dexter does. You know, you wake up, tie down to a fucking table. Next thing you know, this dude's fucking cutting me into little ass pieces. And then, you know, he's putting my fucking brain in the freezer. And he's eating that shit for breakfast. That's the type of dude that this motherfucker looks like. So, I don't know, man. Overall, like, I don't usually, like, give a fuck what people do. But this shit... This is on another level, man. If just the fact that he spent so much money and he looks like that, just 
That's the L, man. I gotta give this guy a giant L. But overall, I mean, that's pretty much it. I wanted to just share this story with you guys. I thought it was entertaining. I don't know. This shit. Oh, man. I'm looking at his picks while I'm doing this calm. I'm just, oh, man. I might, I might have some nightmares tonight. I don't know. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Le leave me your opinions down below. Roast this fool in the comments if you want even. this dude. Oh, this, I might just go on his Instagram and start roasting him. I don't know, man. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Link's in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out.